Don't be angry. Understand this, my brothers and sisters. You must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. Human anger does not produce the righteousness God desires. And don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't let the sun go down while you're still angry, for anger gives a foothold to the devil. A gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make tempers flare. If you forgive those who sit against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. People with understanding control their anger. A hot temper shows great foolishness. Better to be patient than powerful. Better to have self-control than conquer a city. Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord. Control your anger, for anger labels you a fool. For we know the one who says, I will take revenge. I will pay them back. He also said, the Lord will judge his own people. If your enemies are hungry, give them food to eat. If they are thirsty, give them water to drink. You will heap burning coals of shame on their heads, and the Lord will reward you. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. But I say, if you are even angry with someone, you are subject to judgment. If you call someone an idiot, you are in danger of being brought before the court. And if you curse someone, you are in danger of the fires of hell. So if you are presenting a sacrifice to the altar in the temple, and you suddenly remember that someone has something against you, leave your sacrifice there at the altar. Go and be reconciled to that person. Then come and offer your sacrifice to God. The wise are cautious and avoid danger. Fools plunge ahead with reckless confidence. Short-tempered people do foolish things, and schemers are hated. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm. But now is the time to get rid of anger, rage, malice behavior, slander, and dirty language. Don't lie to each other, for you have stripped off your old nature and all its wicked deeds. Put on your new nature and be renewed as you learn to know your Creator and become like Him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray this day that I will be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. May my behavior today bring glory to your name as your righteousness shines through my life. Lord Jesus, forgive me for any anger that I have let to get the better of me. Forgive me where I have spoken harshly against others. Help me to act gently toward my brothers and sisters and neighbors. I choose in this moment to forgive those who have spoken harshly against me, and I pray peace and blessing upon them all. Holy Spirit, if there is anyone I have wronged, please bring them to my mind. Give me the courage and grace to ask them to forgive me for my actions. Help me to live in the new nature that is mine through Jesus Christ, and help me to become more like him today in everything that I do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.